Hey guys, welcome back to Marketing Funders Global. I hope you are doing great today. Well, this is the eighth video in this MS PowerPoint course. And in this video, we are going to tell you about how to use animation in your PowerPoint. So guys, this video is going to be a in-depth video on animations that how you can use animation in your slides in order to make them more effective and impressive. So let's get into the video without any further ado. So guys, we are into our PowerPoint software and why we choose this animation video to create. Well guys, animation is one of the most important part in your MS PowerPoint slides and you have to know that how you can apply it because most of the people don't know how to apply these animations on their slides. Okay, people do apply but they don't know how to properly use these animations in their PowerPoint slides. So let's choose our project first which we were working on previously. Okay, so these are the slides and we have already applied the transitions between these slides. Okay, as you can see the star icon over here. So this denotes that the uh, transition is already applied on these slides. Let me show you once. If I click on slideshow from the big menu, as you can see here, <clears throat> the transitions are already applied and this animation is going once I'm pressing the space button. Okay, so let me exit it by pressing escape button. Now go back to the first slide. There's one question. What is the difference between transition and animation? As you can see, I already selected the slide, but these animation options are not highlighted right now. Okay, which means we can't use these animation options and why this is happening because let me uh, tell you the difference between transition and animation first. Okay, so the transition is just an effect between two slides. When, when you change the slide from one to two, there is an effect between two, these two slides that is known as transition, that is called transition. But the animation applies on the content of your slide. Okay, and that content can be text and the image or any kind of animation or GIF. Okay, that animation applies on the content. As you can see, uh, these animation options are turned on now, which means it is highlighted now. Now I can use these options. Okay, so once you select the content, these options will be highlighted. Now, let's go to the first slide. Okay, now we have, once I select this content, okay, we have the options over here. There are three types of animations, as you can see here. The first one is entrance, okay, entrance, then emphasis, then the exit. So mainly these three options will help you to create an effective and interactive uh, slideshow. Okay, PowerPoint slide. Now let's talk about the entrance first. Well, basically entrance animations are used to enter the content, whether it is image or the text. When you are entering or when you are getting in the content in your slide, you should use entrance option or entrance animations. And if you want to highlight the content, if you want to highlight any text or image, then we use emphasis, okay? Because these emphasis options or emphasis animations are for the highlighting the content. It emphasizes the content and show more prominently in your particular slide, okay? Then we have exit. After entering the content, after emphasizing it, then we have to exit the content so that we can uh, transit to the next slide okay so at the end we use exit animations so let's start with the first slide and let's uh, use the these options one by one okay so the heading is what are the things to be kept in mind while creating a presentation so this is the heading right this is the first slide and this is the first heading okay and in this option we have to in this i mean in this headline we have to first enter the content okay and these are the uh, options over here and if you want more effects here you can use these options more entrance effects more emphasis emphasis effects and then more exit effects so if you cl click on this here are more entrance animations over here category wise these are basic then subtle moderate or some exciting ones okay let me exit it right now and choose from here so if you click on fly in as you can see here okay so the content came like fly in right and as you can see the number over here that, that denotes which content or which animation will come first 
okay so this is one right now and if i add animation on this content as well let's say i use random bars so this will be the second one as you can see here okay and if i click on preview i will be able to see the animation on this particular slide let me click on preview once again okay yeah it looks set all right now it is looking good uh, let me go to the second slide now so we have done this so this is the first slide so we have just added basic animations as uh, let me show you once again just this now let's go to the second slide and this is the second slide here we have to add some extra things okay although in this animation we haven't emphasized anything which means we haven't highlighted anything or we haven't exited anything right now okay you can do that but for now we are not doing it just to show you okay this is the second slide and in this sec uh, slide let me first enter the uh, content and to enter the content i will use float in hmm, looks nice okay as you can see the number is denoted here then i want to enter the image so to enter the image let's use bounce hmm. <laughs> quite cheesy but okay okay for now for the first time although i am a professional but for you it can be okay then we have the text over here which i want to be enter as a um let's go to more effects and let's choose some exciting ones spiral in mm, not not that much good flip it will take so much time i think grow and turn mm, float down this one looks nice or you can choose no compress horizon let's use this one float down okay so let me click on this preview and this is the entrance of all the content in this particular slide now i want to emphasize one by one okay so uh, this is the headline this is the image then i want to emphasize on this okay so as you can see i have already applied animation on this this is the th third number animation over here okay this is the third content which will be uh, entered in this particular slide that's why it is denoted as three as i've already told you now i already have applied animation on this particular slide but i want to add one more that is emphasize right emphasis so how you can do that because you can't do just you can't just add uh, by clicking here because if you click here then it will be removed from over here so to enter one more animation you have to click here add animation once you click here you will be able to add more animations on this particular content so uh, entrance animation is already applied now let's use titter one mm, not that much good let's use this underline one hmm. this looks okay let's click on preview once again headline image then the entrance of the content then the emphasize one okay so i think the entrance and the emphasize one is done okay we have added two animations over here let me delete the, this fifth one okay let me show you preview once again then okay the animation is changed now let me click on fourth not titter we want the underline effect where is that yes so you have to keep these numberings in your mind because if you forget the numberings and if you don't use these numberings properly then your animation can get messed up so be careful about these numbers okay now let's go to the next slide this is just a small content mm, let's choose directly the fourth one now in this slide i'm properly gonna use the exit animation as well but for that first we have to enter the content then emphasize it if you want according to your preference then we have to exit the content okay but if you want to exit the content in the middle 
like uh, if you enter the uh, content in the middle of your animation or in the middle of the slide and then if you want to uh, exit that particular content before all the content goes exited you can do that as well so let me show you once first let's enter the content this one okay now in order to enter the content here i'm going to choose this random bars okay know your audience then i want to add one more image before entering these content okay that will be a confused person who is thinking about the uh, proper audience right so to find that image i have searched already that particular image in the freepick.com okay it is a free platform where you can download some uh, good vectors good images okay you just have to click and click on free download oh let me click on this drop down icon so that i can directly download the jpg version of the photo otherwise it will download all the whole project or i mean the psd file which will be run in photoshop only so if i click on this icon over here i want to download jpg now it will directly download the jpg image as you can see here now let's directly drag if we can yeah we can drag and drop over here now let's just resize it a little bit so that it looks good okay now you have to enter this image as well go to animation and then enter the bounce effect here then add animation to emphasize you can do this pulse no not that good let's choose another one you can use this titter effect in this and if you want to increase the duration you can do that as well by clicking on this duration icon okay let me add for two seconds here then add one more animation so that you can exit it directly so let's fly out so it will be go out like this so let me click on preview once so the content will be in then emphasize then out now i have to work on these content which are left over here then after getting out this image i want to add this image or i want to enter this image so in order to use entrance animation i want zoom in effect yeah looks good then we have three points over here so if you want you can add animation one by one on these or you can add on all these uh, points in one go so let me enter it by random bars like this or you can you want you can add one by one by one as well let me if i want to delete this you just have to press uh, first you have to select this number then press delete and the animation will be deleted or you can just click on this then click on none and the animation will be deleted but the shortcut key is to press uh, first select the number then delete and the animation will be deleted over here so let me do one by one first i have this then the seventh will be this then the eighth will be this okay now let's click on preview once again mm -hmm. looks nice yeah titter then go down and now the content is present in in front of you okay so that's how you can enter the content then emphasize the content then exit the content as well okay but if you don't want to add this image you can uh, use these three options in the particular or on the main content of your slide as well i just wanted to show you that how you can use these all three effects okay and also if you want to increase the duration of your content or the animation you can do that as well by click on clicking on duration timing option then we have delay option as well and you can uh, read the definition as well that it plays the animation after a certain number of seconds once you add the seconds like uh, if you want to delay the animation for 10 seconds or for 5 seconds then it will animate after 5 seconds so that this is not that much useful option according to me but if you want you have particular scenario in this in your uh, ppt in your presentation you can do that okay now as we have uh, applied all the animations option on this particular slide i'll show you once i'll show you one more slide okay let me add all the three animation options the first one entrance emphasis then exit in this particular slide let me show let me do this rapidly wipe then random bars not yeah here random bars then float in then fly in fly in and fly in here as well then let's emphasize it 
no not that much good wave oh it's got wrong so i'm going to apply all these three animations in this particular slide once again let me do this rapidly let me add random bars over here and then let me add this one and in these three i want to add fly in after fly in i want to add animations on these particular uh, content to emphasize the content okay i want to add wave effect then in this add animation wave effect then in this add animation wave effect okay then i want to exit these animations one by one add animation exit it like random bars then this one click on add animation click on exit like shape then in these let me select all these three add animation and let me select bounce no not bounce is not looking that much good and if you want to select these three particular animations the ninth one you have to press shift key and you can select these three particular option okay particular animation that is the exit animation i hope you got you understood let me add float out now let me preview it once so this will be the entrance this is the emphasize one Mm -hmm. looks good then this is the exit one so i hope you understood the animation option and to use these three options and i'm damn sure if you got familiar with these three options the first one entrance emphasis then exit then definitely you will be able to create effective and impressive powerpoint presentations okay here are few more options over here which you can use to uh, add if you want to add effect float up float down you can add to that as well but mainly i have already told you all the main main things which you can use in your powerpoint slides to create or to add the best animations okay uh, this option is just to set the trigger by which uh, your animation or your uh, slides can be changed but you can do that by pressing the space button as well okay let me show you if i click on slide from beginning and i'm pressing my space button one by one and it is as you can see these are the animations which we have added this is the emphasize we haven't added animation over there then this one emphasize exit then we have entrance 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 okay then this is the entrance of this particular slide emphasize then the exit okay so that's how you can add animations in your slides i hope you understood the video i hope you like the video and if you still have any question or query please comment down below i'll answer those questions please hit that subscribe and like button We'll meet you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.